Welcome, audience. From here on out, it's uh, Uncharted Waters for Shiro and Dwibs, I believe, correct? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And, of course, here we're going to Lake Laogai. No, that's literally the name of the episode. In Avatar well, The Last Airbender, episode. Book 2, Earp, Episode 17. So, All right. three, Good. two, one, click. In Tales of Bossing Say, we won our, we tugged at fans' heartstrings. In Lapa's Lost Days, we tugged at the fans' heartstrings so much that we got an Emmy for it. So, what are we going to do in this episode, Lake Glau Guy, in this ever-so-happy verse? I, uh, that I already actually awarded to fandom tiers, not the writers. <laughs> I, I already I already, meant, already talked about... Didn't we already talk about why having an intro like this can be a bit of a problem, especially if you're late in the series? The fact that there's a lack of update. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it doesn't actually hurt the quality of the show because it's an intro, but I uh, definitely do... I kind of suffer the same problem Mortal Kombat Defenders of our realm, honestly. Mm -hmm. And you know, yeah, don't get me wrong. I'd have rather, you know, the intro would adapt over time, too. But if that's, like, the biggest issue, like, well, the show's got not much to fear. Then this series has it really good. Yeah. Also, yeah, what's Clancy Brown's agenda? Like, if he kept uh, Opa as a, uh, for himself, like, what is he hoping to accomplish just to keep the Avatar in the city for no reason? Remember how he said, if they mention the war, they'll be expelled from the city, and he knows they're looking for a bison. Basically, it's his way of keeping them in check while keeping an eye on them. Lake Lauga. Yeah, I, I stand on my opinion. I just want Pazula just to wreck a pot wreck on this city entirely. Oh, yeah. Wow. Oh, that's adorable. You, you know a city's bad and corrupt when we're actually rooting for Azula. Yeah. Although the sad thing, too, is that this is the only Earth... This is the Earth Kingdom capital, like, where the Earth King resides. Like, this is essentially the Earth Kingdom's last oh. struggle. Oh, this one. <laughs> of Wait, this joke. <laughs> Wait for oh. it. <laughs> Uh. Uh. Oh. <laughs> uh. <laughs> oh, you got yeah. burned by a blind person. Yeah. Poor Sokka. So they're gonna spread some wanted uh, papers. Did, did the paper shrink? <laughs> It's perspective, Lisa. I think there's um there's another funny joke coming up with these. I, I thought as well. they, I thought they would have done the uh, poster mini game from Kingdom Hearts Two, where you need to slap them on the wall. <laughs> oh. This is actually that that kind of thing was actually a mission in GTA Five. You had to fly around dropping flyers for a film Michael produced. Hmm. Oh, we're doing this now? The mega corporation buying the small hut. They're offering him his own tea shop. <laughs> Pretty sure Wait. Iroh doesn't really care. Creative freedom is actually kind of a rarity in the big business. So what's the catch? <laughs> no, um, yeah. no, no catch. He basically works for them. He gets creative freedom. The only... Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, that's right. They even get to move to the upper rings of the city. Mm. So literally the only... Yeah, the only catch is that they're working for him. That's it. Okay, how long? How long? Do you yeah. Reckon, how, how, okay, guys. Uh, I'm taking bets. How long do you think it'll be before it turns out that that guy is secretly evil? I'd say T minus. Uh, uh oh. T minus what? Minutes. <laughs> well, we'll have to focus on that later because Zuko now knows that the Avatar is in town. Fantastic. Extremely triggering. <laughs> <laughs> Card game spin off uh, when? I mean, if we could get a uh, standalone Gwent game, might as well. Ah. Ah. Hey, Judy! <laughs> hmm. 
<laughs> yeah, yeah, sure. they technically are. That's what they were made for back when Kyoshi founded them. She got sent to late Glau guy out in the country. Yeah, I remember another woman claiming she was Judy showed up at the end of that episode. Mm. Yeah. Ah, uh, please stop doing this. It's freaking Metroid over M. Jesus, anger. Yeah. No more bureaucracy. Well, I understand uh, in this case. We said break rules, not. Oh, whatever, it's tough. Break rules, not break walls. <laughs> Same thing. I guess, yeah. You're fired. We will kill you this time. Uh... I take it that's not good news? Honored to accept his invitation. What the fuck is wrong with you people? They have I a think weird. That's what we're about to find out. They have a weird sense of security. Of course. Well, he's voiced by Clancy Brown, so he knows how the politics game goes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> How about Avatar? Come here, it's not a trap. <laughs> he, Iroh knew about that. He's too young, guy. He doesn't understand. Actually, this is an interesting thing. Similar to a Goofy movie, while, okay, Iroh is obviously the person we're normally supposed to side with, but it does address that maybe Iroh's <laughs> a little too blind with optimism. There you go. Now we're doing the slapping on wall things. Yeah, I've seen this Wait. joke before. What's um... Uh, wait. Yes. Uh, <laughs> we still love you, sweetie. Yeah, we. we she tries. <laughs> I mean, she can see so very we well, but there are some things she still can't see. No, I'll, I'll see. Yeah. Oh. Oh. Oh no! It's biggest dickus. <laughs> hey, it's one of the guys what she gets. Jesus. Saying. What's so funny about <laughs> biggest dickus? <laughs> Overreaction much? Well, she did trust him, and well, last time he nearly killed a village. That's why I have my cabal weapons. Well, to be fair, he was defending himself that time. Why did so? <laughs> I'm just gonna give you a flower. Yeah. Hey, you know what's funny? Sokka gets shipped with a lot of girls, Katar gets shipped with a lot of boys. Like, she gets shipped with Haru, Zuko, Aang, and Jet. There's actually a fan art that addresses that called Water Tribe Charm that suggests that if you're from Water Tribe in the show, you'll get plenty of love interests. Hmm. Well, d you that's did. What they all, that's what they all say. Well, not just that, please. We know that he changed, just not the way they know. Hold on. I'll change. As long... As long as the person is connected to Earth that she can feel, she can pretty much sense their heartbeat. <laughs> 
Yeah, he... here's the thing about Katara. Sure, she's willing to trust you on the first go, but if you betray her, you got some hell to pay. That was being the cat, actually. Uh... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, I hate to clean up after Arthur. I'm sure it's not a trap at all. Dio, he's just a comedic old grandpa helping them out. We just gotta go to Whaletail Island. Of course. Huh. Wow, that's a long ways. I'm not buying it. That's Wait for it. Far in up... day, I'm not buying it. What if they end up going to the wrong island and it was and there's like two of them called the same by the same name? That's actually a plot point in Dragon Ball Z when Bull Mac really then go yeah. and try to go to the Mac. You wonder why I don't really watch those kind of shows. <laughs> Wait, listen. <laughs> <laughs> Again, is it just a Water um, Tribe charm that if you're a Water Tribe member, you'll get the most love interests? Apparently. Pretty much. Hmm. Maybe it was a different jet. Wow, Sokka actually managed to call things out. Yeah, that's the thing about Sokka. He's goofy often, but when he puts his mind to it, he can actually think rather keenly. Hmm. Where's the rebel base jet? <laughs> Ow! Interrogation time. Yes. Oh, goodies, who has decided to go vigilante again. again. Wee. I don't want to hurt Al. <laughs> mm. Well, uh, that's the end. That's of the sound of you being stupid. <laughs> Hmm. Punch him. Oh, kiss him. Oh. Brilliant. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. What? No. Nearly oh, killing people. Right. Here we go. Yeah. Oh! Yeah! It was that guy! Yup! The rough rhinos. Everything's connected in a way. Also, Wait, he also... has water mind reading powers? No, no, no. More like, it's a way uh, of soothing. Yeah, it's a synonymous for tranquility. Also, 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 before you ask, no, that is not the ever-so-special water that no. Paku gave her at the start of Season 2. That's just her usual bending water. Because remember, Katara still does have that special water that can heal any one wound, but should not be lost. Yep. 
which Juji was sent to as well. Hmm. Actually, now that I think about it, it makes me wonder. Would the brainwashing machine actually work on Tatha since she's, since she's blind? Depends. I thought you said Luigi for hmm. a second there. What's with the whistling? <laughs> Not so odd. So, press the button. Oh, it's a manhole. Yeah, basically, if you're not an earthbender, you're not gonna have much luck finding this place. Obviously. For a second, I thought it was Azula's comrades. It's funny you mentioned that. A lot of people tend to ship jet in Azul for some reason. The both is not uh... the Yep. One of us. One of one us. us. One of us. <laughs> What, that? Uh, again, this is the last city. Hey, Opa! How did Opa even get in there? Oh, oh. oops. Oh, <laughs> nice fake. I, lo I love that line Zuko <laughs> says, expecting someone else. <laughs> oh, what the fuck? Mm -hmm. Are oh, those crap. bodies? Yeah. Oh. You are to be executed upon arrival. <laughs> oh shit, I forgot. There was another word there. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was coming handy. God, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> well, maybe he has a backup plan. He seems to be the guy that knows to have uh, multiple layers of plan on Master Xehanort. Yeah. Sir, she's blind. Maybe just attack her from yeah, the Yeah, I like go. that. Thankfully, they have a big enough team to make up for each person's weaknesses. Yeah. Because the way the Daily worked, they can so much just move the Earth oh, beneath you. Oh, what a you. pussy. Yeah, he had no plan. <laughs> yeah. Or maybe he's just luring them to a place where he can take advantage. Yeah, there we yeah, go. There we go. You know, you need to you to be really uh, bald or stupid to face an, ad, an avatar incarnation. To be fair, he doesn't know completely what an avatar can do, and also to be fair, Aang doesn't have complete control over the avatar state. Also that. So that's a trigger, Tim. Fug. Turning allies on one another. Oh shit, Jet's evil again. Just oh, oh this bit. Mm. <laughs> uh... That's actually a notable flaw. Zuko yeah. does make he does think of masterful plans. The problem is that he never Doesn't thinks afterward. You can't improvise. I didn't yeah. think this far ahead. And what the fuck are you doing with your life? Yeah. yeah pretty much. Echo! A little, a little. Who a are little. you? And yeah. how do you know my name? Oh, sorry, wrong franchise. Um... <laughs> uh, inordinate. 
Oh crap, wrong franchise again. More <laughs> like a Avatar. You know both earthbending and waterbending. You could just immobilize him easily. He's not that good at earthbending quite yet. Is in like, well, as Toph herself said, Aang's got the grasp of earthbending, but he could possibly crush someone if he tries some of the more advanced moves. Hey! What are we cheering? Do it. <laughs> Not to me, you fool! Well, crud. Oh, shit. Ah, fuck, Jack died. I can't fucking believe Jack is dead. Oh, what a <laughs> pussy again. Yeah. <laughs> You're just oh, turns out he has another. Face, so. Turns out he may have another trick up his sleeves. He's just asking for the avatar state. He was lucky that was not Katari did that too. The power of Katara compels you. Not enough. Huh? <laughs> he speaks. Wait, wait, who's that guy? One of the one Jet Savory, remember, he straight was even as he wasn't speaking so uh, far. Uh, he didn't speak as much as the other one. For good reason. Yeah. Oh, it's the whole. Hmm? All right. It's Avatar season two, the search for Appa. <laughs> Pretty much. Yeah. Well, that begs the question: How did Zuko and Iroh manage to pull up outside? You'll see. Well, I'm you remember, Teal. Oh my God! Would you just give up already? There's a way Appa got <laughs> in. There's a way he can get out. Yeah. Uh, uh, praise um, the sun. You're not uh -huh. gonna find Upper in the sun. Yay! Oh, yeah! <laughs> Finally, at long last! And he killed a few people. <laughs> <laughs> he kills a bunch of people. Oh. Yeah. Don't worry, they'll live. Just. They survive this. Ding. Wait. What? Eat him. What? Eat him. Yeah, eat him. Can you? Yes. What? <laughs> and skip oh. being stoned. <laughs> and yeah, he died. He's dead. <laughs> and took his shoe. Oh. His shoe vanished. Group hug. It took Jet dying, but we finally got Appa back. Oh Someone right, that's died. right. Jet yeah, died. I never, yeah, I never, I never liked Jet anyway. Mm-hmm. Well, at least he redeemed himself, death permitting. Nah, I still don't like him. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. It's like if, if 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 Lars never died in Steven Universe, would you guys honestly think I'd shed a single tear? Uh... <laughs> Hold on. So Zuko actually let Appa go. And renounces his the yeah yeah mask symbolism. He's renouncing I get it. his um, allegiance again. <laughs> Okay, folks, so now the team is enemies of the state, but they got Appa back, and... Well, that's the question. Where to go now from here? Let's just say to you, we aren't done with bossing say yet. Well, of course. Uh, Kurensi Brown will obviously try to strike again sometime <laughs> in the future, I guess. Yeah, he still technically controls the city. He, he seems to be the guy who's salty enough to want in revenge for a thing like this. Oh, you'll see and then some. Tune in next episode, everyone, on episode 18, The Earth King. Awesome. All right. See you. See you.